Hey guys, this is InformalGadget.com and we're going to talk about AT&T and unlocking your iPhone on your AT&T network. Now AT&T has had a program since last April uh, where you are able to unlock your phone. Now you have to call AT&T and they run through this process where they approve you and if they approve you then they'll unlock your, your iPhone so that you could use uh, different SIM cards or say you, you go out of the country and you need to use your iPhone you could throw in another SIM card but this is only if they approve you and you do have to talk to somebody from AT&T now AT&T has actually made the process a little bit easier and you will be able to now just fill out a form on AT&T's website which is this form that you see right here and there are some things that AT&T looks for but if they do approve you, you will get an email within five to seven days and with instructions to show to tell you how to complete the unlock on your iPhone. Now, some of the requirements that AT&T requires is that you have to be a good standing customer that doesn't owe AT&T any outstanding balances. You do have to have uh, pro have to provide a phone number or an account number. And the iPhone that you're trying to unlock cannot be reported lost or stolen. You also have the opportunity to unlock five iPhones per account, and that's per year. So every year you get to unlock five iPhones that are on your account. Also, if you're in the military and you could prove that you're in the military and you're in good standings with AT&T, you could also have AT&T unlock your iPhone. If you do meet those requirements, all you have to do is just make sure to go to your iPhone and you're going to have to get the IMEI number. It's the number that identifies your iPhone. And the way you do it is by going to settings, then general, and about. And you'll see right there that it has IMEI on your iPhone. So just go ahead and write that number down somewhere. So once you've read this and you think you, you do fulfill the requirements that AT&T requires you to unlock the iPhone, you could um, go down here and just click I have read and agreed to the eligible requirements and go ahead and go to agree. And right here you have the, the fields you have to fill out, which are if you're a current customer, you have current, previous, or non-customer. You have to fill out your wireless number, your IMEI number, so there you go, it's right there, there's an example. Your first name, last name, your email address, the last four digits of your social security number, that's um, part of the, the account that you have the iPhone on. And then uh, if you do have a AT&T account passcode, you have to put that down there. Once you do fill out all this information, hit submit. And if AT&T feels like you do have all the required things that they need you to have, they will be sending you that email within a week. Hopefully this helped you guys out. If it does, or if you guys have any issues or whatever information you guys could give us about unlocking your device, uh, let us know down below in the comment section. We would be really interested to see who gets approved and who doesn't and for what reasons. So if this helped you out, give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to visit InformalGadget.com.